All right, everybody, what is up? It's Flix, welcome back. In today's video, guys, we are making a Destiny 2 video. First time in a long time, so hope you guys do enjoy. Drop a like if you guys do, turn on post notifications and subscribe to stay up to do with all the latest. But without further ado, guys, we are going to be talking about the last word hand cannon, which is an exotic weapon. With the most recent update, this gun actually did get a buff which has made it a lot more useful. So here is what we got with the last word, most recent update. Now adjust the precision scaler of the weapon while hip firing. Impact values have been adjusted. Aiming down size no longer provides additional effective range. Damage fall off for this weapon. Reduce stability for mouse and keyboard input. Adjusted the way target accusation is handled for this weapon and hit fire to improve the experience and reduce the effective range of this weapon. The other two we don't really need to get into. It's funny because this gun actually was meant to get a nerf. It wasn't actually meant to get a buff. So now this weapon is probably going to get nerfed sooner than later. It is extremely, extremely powerful piece of kit now i've only recently grinded it out because i actually heard the weapon was pretty damn good and whenever i got it i was not disappointed however it does lack a few things but before we get into that let's look at what this weapon offers so we got our increase in stability range and handling speed we also get accuracy, stability, and precision when firing from the hip to make those shots more precise. And we got textured grip, which increases. Last but not least is the weapon is fully auto and it has increased reload speed when firing from the hip, but precision shots from the hip deal bonus damage, which is amazing because this gun is amazing for hip firing because that's what it was built for. However, here are the stats. The impact is like 75%. Range is 40%. Stability is 45. Handling, 45. And reload speed is like 80%. They're just like rough estimates. They're not actually pre precise numbers, but you guys get the point. However, this is more of a buff for controller users. It has just became more stable in its hip firing form. It's became more consistent and it has also stayed a bit more consistent while in air combat. I know whenever people would start using the gun while in midair, it wasn't really that consistent. It wasn't really that great. I don't know why that was. I don't know if it's a wee bit more technical than that, but whenever you would be in the air and shooting from the hip from this gun, it wasn't really that great. However, it was pretty much crap whenever it comes to mouse and keyboard. It required a bit more skill and a wee bit more kind of hard work to use the last word. Whenever using the controller, however, it is pretty much having all of you. It is insane. I'm not even gonna lie. I've really been enjoying this weapon. It's absolutely amazing. So you guys should definitely go and check it out and go and get grinding for this weapon. Trust me, you guys will not regret this one. However, with this new update 2.90, you guys, this weapon has gone insane. All right, I'll put all the information on the screen for you guys right now. So we're getting hip fire grip, 1.2 aim assist fall off. 15 plus aim assist, 1.7 degrees precision hit fire angle threshold, and has no freaking snipers. Pretty much in general, what all this is trying to say, guys, is that your reticle doesn't even have to be on the enemy to actually land a hit. I say that again. Your reticle, when you're hit firing, doesn't even need to be near the enemy for it to hit. And I know you guys are thinking, Flex, what are you talking about? That makes no sense. However, let me break it down. So your reticle has to be somewhere near the enemy you're trying to shoot in order to hit, all right? It's not that stupid where you're aiming halfway across the map and you're not even looking at the guy. You have to be kind of a bit more realistic about this. So 
If you're looking at an enemy and your reticle is roughly around the outline of the enemy, it will land a hit. You don't even have to be 100% accurate. It's pretty much near enough having aim assist on steroids. Is actually insane. So I've got a few clips for you guys to show what I was talking about. Hopefully this kind of gives you guys a rough idea of what the weapon's like when I say you don't have to let your reticle fully be on them. These are the best clips I could get for you guys to demonstrate this. There was no enemies just sitting there not trying to shoot me. I had the grenades getting fired at me and launchers. It just was a wee bit more trickier to get. But hopefully this kind of gives you guys a rough idea of what to expect. But, however, don't use this gun while aiming down sights. The recoil is horrendous. Trust me, do not use this gun for aiming down sights. This gun is absolute trash when aiming down sights. But, if you guys want to just keep firing, this is what it was meant for. Really, really impressive gun. I absolutely love it the best. I, probably one of my favorite hand cannons in the entire game. But, however, the range isn't really that great, which is a downfall. I wish the range was a lot more better, but then again, it probably would be insanely OP. But, try and use this gun mainly for close to medium gunfights. Even medium is kind of pushing it a wee bit, but I think you guys really will enjoy this weapon. Um, let me know what your thoughts are of this buff. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you guys did, drop a comment down below what you guys think of this gun, the update. And tell me if you guys want to start using it again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.